What is going on guys, Politics Gaming here, and today I'm doing the third episode of the People's Republic of China. I'm sorry that I haven't been posting a lot of this lately as I have been concentrating on live streams and such, but I will get right back to it. So today, um, basically, we are going to be modernizing our military. Um, military, the military aspect of the game um, it's something I always ignore, so I really want to concentrate on building up our military to make sure that our military is on par with the rest of the world. Um, missile launchers, we have the ability to make rank 4 ICBM missile launchers. Moving at sea and barge is all bombing impossible from barge. Missile range is very, very long. So we have the ability to build... Um, weapons of this type so we're going to go ahead and go for a full production round this should be done by uh july 18th of the this year so let's go ahead and send that over to our national producers and then we should actually um produce more of that um this will be added to our national debt um but it should not be too much um how much was that again at a base price 59 million dollars so <laughs> yeah not even that much um we are going to go for a 15,000 strong commando force and then we are going to put our national career army at 200 2,215,000 active duty troops and then we are going to come over here to produce nuclear missiles in secret we're going to go ahead and put our national a nuclear stronghold at 200 nuclear bombs. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that. Um, manage arms embargoes. Who should we ban the sale of arms to? Um, hmm. Kenya? Who? Turkey? No. United Kingdom, Zimbabwe. Um, all right. We have a national deficit of 1.58. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and assess the uh, situation, see if we need to cut funding to anything. We can cut funding to that. How much would it be? Uh, $22 billion could be fine. Um, that's going to cut it from our expenses. We have nearly a $200 billion uh, debt deficit, um, yeah, just around a $200 billion deficit. We're going to go ahead and put that 1.7 million doctors, and how many is that per person? Population per medical doctor, 876. Population per hospital bed is 411. And then I'm going to go ahead, come over here. How much is going to cost? Okay, let's go ahead and build 150 hospitals. Actually, let's go for 100 hospitals. All right, that's going to be good. And then there we go. So that put a deficit at 1.45%. Okay, so we have... 6.5 million dollars per unit for 12 units. We're going to go ahead and accept that. Um, and then we're going to go over to research. We're going to go ahead and fund military research. Ooh, 31 billion dollars. We're going to go ahead and give it one star in funding. Um, and then something I need to do, I need to go ahead and start raising taxes because we need to actually, we need to make money. So if I actually, hang on. Tax on industrial pollution, value added tax. 
can get more money if I increase the value added tax by 2%. So I'm going to go ahead and call for that. And let's go ahead and confirm that. That reduced our deficit to 0.62%. And then just to kind of call off that, I'm going to introduce another bill increasing the pornography tax by 2%. We're going to go ahead and see what the backlash for that is. We lost 5% in approval. I must let you know. If this becomes a problem, then I can actually just replace him. Um, let's go over here. Let's see what his popularity is. 67% national popularity. Um, degree of influence over his or her fans, interest in politics, population influenced by the character is 18. Um, global political and electoral influence is 6. Um, very, very moral character. Um, attracted to the out of state, no information available, and ready to start an extramarital relationship is 73. He is not indebted, indebted to me. He loves national defense and hates the repatriation of troops. So let's go back to the military. Let's go, let's go ahead and pay our military more. I'm going to go ahead and put that at 1500 Yeah, that'll put our deficit at 7, 0.72. Okay, let's see how he likes me now. Okay, he likes me a little bit more, so that's good. So I don't need to uh, take him out. But um, just for the record, I'm actually going to put him under investigation. Um, just to make sure that he's not going to be double-crossing us. And then let's, let's come over here. $3.94 billion. I can definitely go for a silver protection plan. Um, and then we are the national, or this is the Chinese mafia. Um, I am actually infiltrating all of these other guys. Agent training and fight against terrorism is fully funded. Um, it is extremely expensive, especially for how big the country is. So that is one reason why we have a really hard time. Um, so let's go over to sects. Actually, we don't even have sects. They're actually uh, uh, forbidden. Okay, let's go to work. And our unemployment rate is a solid 4%. Nice, 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 nice. Um, do we need to do anything to alleviate that? Um, inflation is going up to 3.66%. Um, hmm. Let's go to taxation. Let's go ahead and check my legislation on tax investigation. Um, it is actually... Um, frequent and regular and repressive. However, I can go for frequent and very repressive to start fighting inflation. Um, I can do that for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to the next day, see what the repercussions for that is. Okay. Purchasing power period. People really did not like that, so I lost... Um, I'm going to go ahead and take down the Tibet Autonomous League. Family. Um, oh, yeah. Um, you know, let's go to farming. Okay, my trade balance is kind of going up and kind of going down. Um, I'm actually not subsidizing this since I actually have solid growth in all of them and I don't really need to develop any of them. Um, 42% of the world's uh, tobacco is being consumed by me. I can actually... Trade balance is $83 billion. I'm going to go ahead and give this guy $50 million of um, 
that, and I'm going to go all the way down to Water Supply Networks. I'm going to see... I'm going to go ahead and give it an exoneration anyway, just to make sure. Um, tanks, okay, railway construction, and I really don't need to nationalize that or privatize any of these because, I mean, like, they're just doing so well. I don't, like, I think just uh, um, intervening in the way they are right now, I feel like it's going to really ruin um, the... The target is constantly on alert. Okay, so they had to call it on the uh, investigation. So that is unfortunate. Um, let's go to prisoners, blah, blah, blah. Amnesty. To forget is public law concept. An amnesty often takes place when a new leader comes into power. It cancels the prosecutions delivered by his or her predecessor. Ban on the sale and possession of firearms. Crime rates is zero. I could actually allow for people to have guns, but um, I don't know how that would be um, conceptual. One of my men succeed All right, we're going to go ahead and go for the Chinese Republican movement. Partial dismantlement, only two arrests, of course. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the... Um, Tax investigation for that's going to be passed on the 14th. We're going to do the tax investigation until we can lower our inflation to about uh, one and a half, maybe one percent. And then tax on the pornography industry. And then it does look like that we should actually be passing um, the value added tax in a couple of days, so let's go ahead and see when that actually passes. It's going to pass on the 14th, the same day as we should be actually losing a lot of approval. 12.6% in approval has been lost because of those very unpopular um, measures. Decreased activity. Oh, value at VAT increased considering its present level will undoubtedly have a lasting impact on consumption and limit growth, while risking ultimately plunging the country into a major crisis. Okay, so we could actually look into lowering that by maybe about a quarter of a percent. Law on the value added has been increased. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go for both of these guys. How much money are we making off of value added tax? Um, okay, so that actually should change and we should actually see our public finances change in a couple of minutes. Alright, it looks like our public finances are doing a little better. Um, we're going to go ahead and come over here. We're going to look at it, and our deficit is now 0.747%. Um, and then, so, um, we may have to lower the value added tax or keep it at 22% and just watch how much we're spending. Um, we, are in the abil we have the ability to basically actually just uh, keep ourselves uh, afloat. Um, it does look like our growth is now at 9, nearly 10%, so uh, that is actually really, really good. Um, and our trade balance is actually going up. It was almost, it was at about $11 trillion, but now it's at a uh, um, 10.5, so that is good. Um, coal is our biggest... Resource, so I'm gonna go back, go ahead and actually check energy. I'm gonna look at okay, fossil energy 145. God damn, um, total electric production. I think it's going to be extremely. I'm gonna see how much that actually would cost if I were to just dismantle all of these 365 billion dollars and 1.5 trillion dollars over the next five years extremely extremely expensive that would take us four months and it would take about 7.2 million of our 13 million manpower pool i could actually dismantle 10,000 power plants that would cost about 25 billion dollars um actually i have an idea um we're gonna go ahead and try to start switching up our power um, we're going to go ahead and 
Make yourself more reliable off of solar energy. Let me see what it's like to put it down here. That's good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and build about maybe five or ten solar power plants in the southern part of China. Um, this is going to be something that is actually going to help our economy, and it would uh, help us uh, get off of uh, being so reliable, reliant on um, fossil fuels and stuff like that. Um, if you haven't actually checked my energy tutorial, go ahead and check that out. It is actually one of the most interesting and one of the, one, it was actually very fun to actually research and stuff like that. So guys, just go ahead and go check out my energy tutorial um, to see how to manage um, your energy in Power and Revolution. And only two more. Now one more. I'm going to go ahead and have a reach for 25 power plants. Okay, so that costs it at least maybe like a billion and a half, maybe two billion dollars. Um, we're going to go for... It's going to take 12 months and a lot of manpower. I could make 11,000... I could make 11,000 power plants. Go to five thousand. That's gonna cost seven point four seven four billion. Um, we have two power plants that are actually under construction: nuclear power plants. Um, onshore and offshore wind is not producing a lot of power. Biomass is only causing um, creating about nineteen terawatts. Hydroelectricity. We actually have th thirty nine thousand um, plants hydroelectricity and that's creating um, the second most amount of energy hydraulic electricity is cause is uh, creating about 20% of our energy and then uh, fossil fuels is actually creating 70.3 so what I want to do actually I'm gonna go ahead and go for exploitation authorized we're gonna go ahead and start producing our own shale and oil shale oil and gas so I'm going to go ahead and go for that, and we should actually see a lot of uh, disapproval from that, but I am actually going to give Environment more funding, um, just to kind of offset that. Especially these, I love funding these, because these are the most important. I love water treatment. Alright, our energy policy is going to be changing over the next couple of years, so we should actually be seeing a lot of uh, changes. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and skip to when this is going to pass and then we are going to uh, revitalize our energy production um, which we are already doing for elect electric needs but however for energy, actual energy such as oil and gas, we're going to go ahead and authorize the use of shale uh, fracking and stuff like that and we will um, start building that because I know there's a lot of energy ener energy um, potential in uh, the People's Republic, so we should actually um, build at least maybe 10 of those um, in um, overall um, once we legalize it. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and see what happens. Alright, we got, um, we lost 9.4% in approval because of that. Um, Buddhists really don't like my policy, what are you doing? Um, for the ecologists, anti-environmental laws, the wrong course of history, law and non-conventional gas and oil exploitation is crazy, how would you choose to put the health of our fellow citizens and viability of our natural resources in danger for a ferocious energy which goes against international environmental protocols? We will not drop those. Ecologist group... Then he says the same thing, but the the decree, we're going to go ahead and, wow, 85,000 people have gone in to protest. We're going to go ahead and call for a police intervention. Alright, they have gone. We're going to go ahead and try to recover our approval. I'm going to give more funding to police. 
give them more workers, some more public workers. And then we're going to go over here. Public safety, I'm going to go ahead and put more money into. Ooh, $10 billion. That's a hefty price tag. Okay, two and a half. Back in Masters of the World, I always lost approval when in, uh, I gave more money to um, security of the head of state and public safety. It's, it was always weird. Health. Let's give more money to AIDS and cancer. All right, and let's see what the uh, backlash is whenever I try to build a couple of these uh, shale oil and gas wells. Shale oil and gas, let's go ahead and um, check this out. All right, very good. We're going to go ahead and build about two of them in this region right here. So that was oil. No should actually be done in 40 days, so I think I'm going to go ahead and go to the end where we will actually uh, legalize that, and then I will actually um, call it in for the episode, possibly. Depends on what happens. Um, but anyway, um, let's go ahead and check out shale gas wells, and we're going to go ahead and see where we can build some gas. Very weak. Um, let's go ahead and check in this area right here. All right, the southern part of the country is actually very abundant in um, oil and gas, shale oil and gas, for a matter of fact. So I'm going to go ahead and do another right here. And then I'm actually going to check for conventional oil and gas in the southern part of the country. Very weak. Very weak. Um, let's check around here. Very not, um, not very uh, abundant in conventional gas and oil, but oh, we actually have a little bit of production over here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and build one just for the sake of it. Um, and then let's go ahead and check whenever these guys are going to be done. It's going to take about 40 days for these guys to actually be produced. So we're actually going to skip to whenever these guys are finished in production. And we can um, see how much shale oil and gas and what this will do to actually help our energy situation. All right, we are back. Um, got a situation that's kind of starting to brew in the economy. If you guys have any suggestions on how I should actually deal with this, um, give me in the comments below because this will destroy me like it did in Iran. Um, 12 missile launchers have been delivered. The delivery deadlines were met. We are already taking advantage of the equipment. All right, cool. Whenever it doesn't get met or if they have to cancel or if they like put a weapons embargo on you or something like that like i want to i want to see what happens i'm actually probably going to test that would actually be really cool um okay so we have a situation in our inflation um well, inflation is now coming up to 4.8 percent um in the long run i ignored this as uh iran and i'm not gonna ignore it again um, I could actually increase taxes on, um, like, here, because that, that would actually, like, take less money and stuff like that, or employee social security payments I could actually increase. Uh, could actually commit to austerity measures. It does look like our oil... Um, and gas platforms are actually done. 2.8 million and zero. That's kind of gay. Um, okay, so we got zero production over here. Um, and shale oil has been 2.8 million. So let's go ahead and check our gas wells. 1.8 million and 2.4 million. Um, so very, very strong production in the southern part of the country.
Um, 120 days. We're probably going to look at that in the next episode. Um, so I'm going to come over to energy. And we're going to come over here. Let's check our... So this actually helps our trade balance um, because of the increase in uh, non-conventional um, oil and gas. So non-conventional oil looks like we have zero production going on there. Um, let's check that it's uh, negative 273 compared to 319. And that's just for oil in general. Non-conventional and conventional. Uranium. Um, hmm. And then fuel. Let's see what's going on with fuel. Um, I'm going to increase uh, production for colza in the next episode. Um, if you don't know what colza is, this is actually just used as a biofuel. Um, let's go ahead. I'm actually going to go ahead and do it right now before I forget, because I'm probably not going to do it in the next one anyway. See what kind of production it needs. Uh, what our supply network is the only thing. Um, and then let's go ahead and give it 25 million, whoa, to $25 million. Oh, we actually have a negative trade balance in this. So we have, this is actually a sector that we can actually develop. Let's go ahead and give it $100 million in subsidies. And now let's go ahead and give, an, give it an exoneration so we can go ahead and start developing our fuel. Um, because this would actually help us uh, produce more and more fuel. Um, if anything, we can just import it. So guys, if you guys like this episode of the People's Republic of China, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And guys, um, go to my Patreon, support me on Patreon. Um, we are very close to getting into five patrons. Um, and then, uh, go watch my other series, such as the United States. I may do another, uh, USA series. Um, I think I'm going to have, the next series I'm going to do is going to be, um, between Australia and the United States. So guys, if you guys like this, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if, if you are new to the channel. And without further ado, I will see you guys in the next episode of the People's Republic of China. And also make sure to come and look. Oh yeah, we have an oil well over here. 11 million wow um but yeah guys uh just uh do all that and uh be on my channel because i do live stream a lot so um make sure to catch those live streams by um hitting that notification icon on my channel so you can be updated every time i'm going live and every time that um i post a video so guys i will see you guys in the next one